In this month's quick tip, we're going to talk about how to create seamless textures from photographs. In this example texture here, which I got from cgtextures.com, we're going to have visible seams when it's repeated. So how do we go about fixing that? The first step is to go to the filter menu inside Photoshop, select other, and click offset. These horizontal and vertical shift values will essentially take the edges of the image and shift them inwards. That way you can see where the seams are. Once you know where the seams are, you can go in and correct them. And you do so by selecting the clone tool. Once I have the clone tool selected, I can simply hold the Alt key and click on an area in the image. This will sample all the pixels underneath the brush. And then when I go paint with the brush, it will actually take those pixels and paint them wherever you click and hold. It's good to sample from different areas of the image when you are doing this. That way you don't see too much repetition. Basically all you want to do is go in and clean up these seams. Once you have your seams cleaned up, I like to do one more offset just to check and make sure there's no more seams. So as you can see as we move these values, uh, this texture repeats itself with no problem. Alright, we'll go ahead and press OK and we'll save this out. Call this wood seamless. And press OK. The other thing I'm going to do now that I do have this seamless is I would like to have a bump map to go along with this color map. So I'll go to my layers and I'm going to duplicate this layer by clicking on it and dragging down to the new layer button. That's created a copy and now I'll just go to image, adjustments, desaturate to make it black and white. The black values are going to be interpreted as lowered, the wider values will be interpreted as raised. And this will help simulate additional detail in our texture. I'm also just going to up the contrast just a little bit by going to image, adjustments, levels. and try and get a little bit more contrast between the wood grain and the surface. Now I'll save this out as wood seamless bump. And let's go into Keyshot and learn how to use these two maps to work together. All right. Now here in Keyshot, let's double click on the material. That's going to pull up our properties. And if we go to the Texture tab, we can select Load. And I'll grab Wood Seamless. So that's projected our wood texture on there. And if we wanted to scale it down, we could certainly do so by using the sliders. And let's bring in our bump map so that we can see how that's going to create additional detail for us. We'll go over to the bump map tab, select load, and load in wood seamless bump. Now, uh, one of the inherent problems you'll come across if you are trying to tune these materials is that they both have their own independent values. But these maps are designed to work together. Basically, one should overlay on top of the other, and they will match up. So instead of having to adjust these values in one tab and then go set the same values in the other. What you can do is press sync and now if I adjust my sliders these two maps are going to line up just fine. And you can see here what that's actually doing is uh, creating that additional level of detail and really making these uh, you know, gouges and things in the wood look more pronounced. So if we turn it off really quick let's compare before and after. You can see it, it does add a nice level of additional realism to that material. Alright, so that's a look at seamless textures, uh, bump maps, color maps, and how to use them together.